Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. In today's episode, I am going to share with you the best 100k investments that I made in 2020. To those who are not Filipino, 100,000, 100k is roughly $2,000. And to those who are Filipino, 100k equals 100,000 pesos na ininvest ko noong 2020 na maganda ang kinalabasan. You guys find that interesting? Keep on watching. Let's go! By the way, before we get started, let me just remind you, we have ongoing giveaways. So make sure that you guys check the videos out. I will link them down below in the description box. Kasama dyan new 15,000 and 5,000 peso gift certificates from sneaker shops such as Seoul Republic. We're giving away a brand new laptop from MSI worth 50,000 pesos or $1,000. All of the details of the giveaways in the description box. Check them out. And while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. And if you haven't yet, Subscribe. Seeing as we are primarily a sneaker channel, let me start the investment uh, roundup with a great investment that I did with sneakers. So I bought a bunch of off-white Jordan 1s at around 100 to 120,000 pesos a piece. So off-white Jordan 1 Chicago is obviously one of the most hyped kicks. So I bought a couple of uh, dead stock pairs the prior year and I was able to sell several of them for, I, actually I had four, I sold three. I sold them for 200 to 250,000 pesos each. So that was a return of like 100%. So literally, halos nagdoble yung pera ko doon. Now the tip there is if you can identify specific pairs, doesn't necessarily have to be 100,000 pesos, that you know will go up in price, then you just keep hold, hold on to them and then sell them later on once the value is at a better price point. For example, I remember the Rookie of the Year Jordan 1s, they were selling for like 10,000 pesos, just slightly above resale. Now they're selling for what, 25, 24? The Mochas initially were selling for like 15, 14, Jordan 1 Dark Mochas. Now they're what? 25, 24. So as you guys can see, there are sneakers that eventually go up. So kung ma, kung ma yung maganda uh, and hold on to them and just sell them later on when the values are higher, that is a great investment. Remember, it only becomes an investment if you sell it and you profit. Now, if you don't know where to sell or how to sell, you might just want to consign. So sneaker shops such as Seoul Republic offer consignment. They just get a certain percentage, but they will be the ones to take care of marketing and selling your shoes. So once the benta, all you have to do is to drop by, get your fee, and then you cash out. Obviously, it's not just about sneakers. It depends on what it is that you want to flip. Uh, if you have the knowledge and you have the expertise in flipping NBA cards, you can invest in that. If you can do watches, you can also do that as well. Ultimately, whatever it is that you are passionate about, that you enjoy, that you can get items at a good price and eventually sell them at higher prices, if you can buy low, sell high, that you can make money of that arbitrage. So again, uh, it doesn't matter if it's shoes, if it's if it's watches, if it's perfume. Uh, I know people who buy like big bottles of perfume and decant it into smaller bottles and sell it and then they make money out of that. Now, another major investment that I made in 2020 was that I doubled down on the stock market. Now, I've always been investing in the stock market. I've held on to several stocks prior. But when the market came crashing down, I just saw opportunity. I just saw that, wow, this is the cheapest these companies will ever be. And please do take note, I'm a value investor. I'm not a day trader. I usually buy companies and hold on to the stock for an extended period of time, usually around three to five years. So hindi ako yung basta tumaas siya, bibenta ko na. Or basta bumaba siya, matasastress ako ng todo. Because my investing period is always long term. Uh, having said that, Please do take note, I'm not a financial advisor as well. I'm only sharing this with the hopes of encouraging you guys to do your own journey. Begin your own journey in learning about the stock market, learning about mutual funds, learning about business, because we all have different paths. We all have different blueprints. Ang importante, magsimula na kayo. Kasi if you will wait for, you know, if you're waiting for a sign, baka ito na yun. I'm not necessarily giving you stock tips, pero basta gets nyo na, diba? Simulan nyo na, sayang eh. Now, I do have several stocks that did really well in 2020. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to ride the IPO of Mary Martin. Sayang yun. Some people I know are, I think they're, they're up like 200, 300% on that one. Uh, but one of the nicer ones that bounced back for me was Ali. So, Ayala Land. So, I think I got into that around 27 pesos. It's now trading at around 40 to 41 pesos. So, that's a pretty significant jump and I'm very happy with that and I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that my investment in that has been paid off. I think it's like 
I'm up like 60,000, 60, 70,000 pesos from my initial investment of around 145 to 150,000 pesos. So it's doing well. I have no plans of selling. My plan for that is hold on to it uh, until, I don't know, I really need the money. But for now, it's it's just nice to have it there. Now, another stock that I'm happy I invested in was SPC. Uh, so this one I got in at around 8 pesos which was already high because I think there was a time it was trading a little less than that. It's now at 9.82, almost 10 pesos. So I put in 101,000. I'm now at 123,000. So that's plus 21,000 plus 21 percent from the initial investment now the great thing with spc is it's also a fantastic dividend stock so i think i got I, i'm not mistaken around eight to ten percent i can't remember the exact percentage so i probably made an additional ten thousand pesos just from the dividends or maybe around less than that but yeah sobrang ganda nito. so this one uh, i will be keeping it and i'll probably be investing more especially if the price goes down now if there's one stock that i was really stressed about uh, it was BDO initially because I, I felt that it wouldn't it was taking a while to recover now this one I'm just happy that it's already green on my portfolio because it was red for the longest time so I put in like 101,000 in BDO uh, my average cost was 102 pesos it's now trading at 106 so I'm plus 3 to 4 percent masaya na ako doon at least hindi siya red hindi siya negative so kumita na siya ng around 4,000 pesos it's not the biggest profit ever but I'm holding on to it long term and hoping that maybe it you know, keeps on growing in the next few months ahead. Next few months or next few years. Now when it comes to stocks, let me just give a very big disclaimer that you should, guys should only get into something when you already know about it. Never get into something that you don't know stuff about, right? So again, my reminder, try to learn, try to read up, try to invest in learning. There are a lot of stock classes, online stock training sessions uh, that you can get. A lot of videos that are available on YouTube. Uh, Feed your mind first before you take any action because the, you will be taking risks. Hindi guaranteed nakikita ka dito. Now, if you want to mitigate or lessen the risk, you might want to consider investing in mutual funds. So, ako, I invest mostly with Atram. So, one of the funds that I have, just to give you guys an example, they have several different types of funds kasi with different risk profiles. So, they have a high risk profile, high returns type of uh, fund. They have like funds that are low to mid risk pero mas malit yung potential gains. They have nice funds over at Seedbox that are like technology feeder funds the international that one is doing really well really happy with the performance of that one uh, but for today let me just zero in on a fund that I bought late or maybe middle of last year and this was just because I was able to sell I think it was a sneaker I had extra around extra 25,000 pesos yata yun hindi ko na maalala exact amount but I put it in their fund I think it was 20,000 pesos so I ended up buying one of their funds this is a screenshot of it as you guys can see um, it's now valued at 31,000. I'm plus 6,600. That's 26% roughly. So again, yung maganda sa funds, they are the ones managing it. You can read the prospectus. You can read what their strategy is about that fund. And if you feel strongly, no, mukha okay to, then you can buy into that. At least you nagmamanage na ng fund or professionals. Again, if you don't have time, if you don't have the resources, if you don't have... Uh, you know, you, if you can't put in the effort to learn every single stock, going into mutual funds and going into funds like this one is a great way to still invest. What you can do is probably you can set X amount every month, siguro 5,000, 10,000, lagay lagay ka lang buwan buwan, and after several years or several months, it will all average out and it should be doing quite well for you. Now, if you want to learn more about Atram, they're not a sponsor, by the way. Uh, I just want to share that I invest there. I'll link it down below. Now, the third investment that I did in 2020 that performed rather well was obviously the businesses that I own. So, uh, if you guys don't know, I own Unbox.ph, which is a gadget website. Uh, the traffic of that website has tremendously grown over over the last year. Uh, the video views are also coming in spectacularly well. Uh, the, the revenue of that particular website has been gaining steadily. I also have the Unbox Creator Network, which is a talent management agency of tech content creators, which is also doing rather okay, ex exceeding my expectations. And obviously, we have Project 721. Now, Project 721 obviously is our merch brand. Ah, 
ideally dapat ang ganda ng report ko on Project 7 to 1. It should be flying colors. I should be sharing it's one of my best investments. But unfortunately, the warehouse got burned down and our stock inventory which obviously, you know, had capital got wiped away. So back to zero. I did a video on that. I'll link it somewhere up here just in case you guys haven't seen it yet. So major bad trip yun. But I have a strong feeling that we will bounce back this year. So again, uh, those are the three big investments that I made in 2020. Again, let me re repeat them. I did investments uh, in several sneakers that I felt would go up in value and they, it did, went well, we went very well, so I was able to sell that. Second investment was on the financial market with the stocks and the mutual funds. Third are the digital businesses, specifically Project 721 and of course the Creator Network which we founded uh, early 2020. Now rolling into 2021, what I would strongly recommend is for you guys to start thinking of how you make more money instead of spending more money. And, and let me let me express my apology to every single one of you who has bought multiple sneakers because of this channel or multiple gadgets that you don't really need. Uh, but kaya nga tayo nagpipivot. We're pivoting towards content that will hopefully help you guys out more. That will hopefully help you make more money and not spend more money. So yan ang magiging thrust ng channel natin. We will still do sneakers because it's a passion of mine. I love it. I enjoy it. I will be showing gadgets still every now and then on the channel. In fact, I have a couple of sneakers that I want to unbox uh, maybe in the next episodes. But again, always remember that the message from here on in, 2021, is I want you guys to make money, not to spend money. Okay? Linawi natin yan. This channel... Hopefully, hopefully, will encourage you to make money. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed our episode for today. In tomorrow's episode, it's going to be fun. I'm going to do an episode on the different types of sneaker resellers. So if you guys think that that's an interesting topic, make sure that you guys tune in. It will be fun. It will be informative. It will be educational, especially to those of you who want to learn how to flip shoes. And with that said, that's it for now. Peace, God bless. What's up? Happy New Year. Boom. Boom.